Oh, it smells like those push-up pops. I used to always eat those Flintstone push-up pops that like push the bottom, like skincare or eye creams and things like that, and then put makeup on top of it. Things can get weird. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my November BoxyCharm box here for you today. So I've gone ahead and tried out the different things in this box. So I'm gonna run through what I got in my box this month and just give you my little mini review and thoughts and opinions on each item. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the theme this month is Beauty Party. It says, please join us for a beauty party. Twinkle charmers in the skies, how we love your sparkling eyes. Up above the moon we dream, like a rainbow in the stream. Twinkle charmers in the skies, how we love your sparkling eyes. So that's a super cute little theme. So let's see what's in here. So first off, there's a coupon code for LVX Luxury Nail Lacquer, which I think I've gotten one of those in one of my boxes before and liked it. So it's 25% off, so that's really nice. And they added a little bonus there. Then I got the Cool Way Leave-In Treatment. Let's see what it says about this. This is a full size and it's $19.95. It says for, a be for beautiful hydrated and shiny hair with no split ends, use any time to boost moisture. You spray generously onto dry or damp hair and blow dry or style as desired. So I used it on my damp hair this morning and just kind of ran it through really the ends because I have fine hair, so I'm kind of careful about leave-in treatments. Um, and it seemed nice. I mean, I think my hair looks kind of shiny today, like more so than usual, but it also looks a little bit piecier than usual. So, you know, that sometimes is the trade-off. It'll sometimes give shine and make my hair look nice, but then also make it a little bit piecier looking, which I'm fine with too. So yeah, I like this okay. It seems like a nice leave-in treatment. Um, smells good. It smells kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it. it. smells like some kind of like citrusy candy. Yeah, something. Oh, it smells like those push-up pops. I used to always eat those Flintstone push-up pops that like you push the bottom and it was like a dreamsicle kind of a scent. So or taste, flavor, whatever. If this is a dream sickle type scent, that's what it reminds me of. But yeah, I like it. Um, seems like a nice leave-in treatment. Then I got a brush. This is the Luxie Rose Gold Concealer Eye Brush 211. It's a full size and it's a value of $12. So I use this on my eyes today to pack on the glittery shade onto my lid, which this is Urban Decay's Space Cowboy, which I love. But I love using small concealer brushes for packing on color onto my lid, but especially like pigments and glittery shades and stuff like that. I feel like it just works so well, a brush like this. So it's just a small, synthetic, densely packed, flat brush. So I like it a lot. So I'm glad that I got this. And the little bottom is cute too, that it's like a pinky color. So yeah, I would say this is definitely a win. Then I got the Purely Say, Purely Say, I don't ever remember, so I'm butchering it again. <laughs> this is the Prevent Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum. Intensive hydration plus firms plus brightens plus decrease puffiness. All skin types, and then it says sensitive, so good for sensitive skin too, I guess. Um, this says it is a full size and it's a value of $65. It says active ingredients like soy protein and French marine plants bring four times the power against aging in this intensive eye serum. Works against wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness while still hydrating and lifting. It says you can apply it day and night after cleansing. So I used this last night as well as this morning underneath my makeup, and I liked it both times. It's in a pump, it's a nice little container, um, and it seemed to work well both times. I mean, this is a product that takes time, so I didn't notice like, oh my goodness, life-changing after one use, but um, or two uses but it still felt really nice underneath my eyes. It did feel, you know, I don't know, hydrating and good underneath my eyes. It didn't disturb my makeup either, so that's really nice. So I'm definitely gonna be using this, um, and especially in the mornings, because a lot of times things really, you know, make your makeup weird when you apply like skincare or eye creams and things like that and then put makeup on top of it. Things can get weird. Um, but that didn't happen with this. So I'm definitely gonna use this at least in the mornings, if not nighttime too, um, just as a great eye serum. So I really do like this. Next I got a blush. This is the Studio Makeup Soft Blend Blush. And my card says Sahara SBB02, but my actual blush says SBB07 Wildflower. So I guess I got like a different color than what the card says, but it's a full size and it's a value of $17 says silky smooth texture and highly pigmented for long wear. 
This blush provides natural looking color and contour instantly brightens the look of the face. So use this on my cheeks today and I really, really like this blush. First off, it's a beautiful everyday pinky mauve kind of color. It really is nicely pigmented, but not like it doesn't stick, you know what I mean? So it blends really well into the skin and it's just a beautiful like everyday kind of color. I like it a lot. I don't, it reminds me of something, but I can't think of another blush. Kind of reminds me of, oh, is it Elf's Sweet Retreat? Kind of reminds me of one of the mineral blushes from Elf, but I can't remember which one. I don't know, I could be wrong. Anyway, I like it. I think it's a pretty color. I like the formula of it. Nice packaging, it feels really sturdy and well made, so this is really nice. And then lastly, my favorite thing I got in my box, this is the Mana Kadar's Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. This is a full size and it's a value of $24. It says the latest innovation in lip stains. Smooth application keeps lips hydrated with a pigment that lasts for hours. Contains vitamins A and E and berry extracts. So I got this, well first off the outside packaging is nice, it's like a light pinky color, so I like that about it. And I got the shade All of Me, and I've got this on my lips today so you can see the color um, actually on me. As far as packaging, it's nice, like it's very sturdy and well made, so there's nothing wrong with the packaging, but it kind of reminds me of like the Forever 21, aren't the Forever 21 glosses in this kind of packaging? I don't know. It reminds me of that, but it maybe feels a little bit more sturdy than those. I don't know. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it kind of reminds me of that makeup. But I really like this product. Um, just like really smooth application. Kind of reminds me of like a lip lacquer, but it does seem very pigmented, like it's really going to stick around a good amount of time. Beautiful color. Oh my gosh. It's like a just gorgeous mid-tone, go with so many different things, sweet girly pink. I love the color. And it went on really nicely. The only thing is you really want to do the like, you know, lip thing, like clean out the inside of your lips because I was getting this all over my teeth until I did that. Once I did that, it's been fine. But it's just one of those, you know, products, any kind of like a lip lacquer or just a really pigmented lip color, you have to be, or I always have to be careful with that because I get lipstick all over my teeth. It just happens. So this one, I definitely had to do that thing so that I wouldn't have it all over my teeth. But love the color, super pretty color. Seems like a really nice formula. Feels very hydrating on the lips and comfortable. I mean, honestly, it's really not sticky. It's more just like you have a, I put a lot of product on my lips, so it's more that. But it's really not sticky, it just feels hydrating. Um, so I really like this a lot. This is my favorite thing in the box. Okay, so that's everything that I got in my November box. So I just added up the value and it's $137. So, so good, another win by BoxyCharm. I think this was a really good box. I would say the only thing that I'm a little bit like, eh, not quite as impressed with is a leave-in treatment. There's nothing wrong with it, but hair care is not ever usually my favorite thing to get. Also, $19 for this is really high priced, but I mean, it does seem like a nice product. That's just a lot of money for that small size. So that's the only thing that I'm a little bit like meh about, but I really do like everything else. This seems like a really nice eye serum, and I love these things. You guys know, Color Cosmetics, that's my favorite stuff. I mean, I just get so excited about those things. So love this brush. I know I'm going to use this a lot. This blush is really, really nice, and I love this lip product. What is it called? Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. I love this. So, another awesome box. I loved it. If you guys want to sign up for BoxyCharm, it's just, I think it's just BoxyCharm.com. I'll leave the link down below for you, but I love it. I would love to know what you got in your box this month. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!